she'll be tasked here to keep this Philippines lineup down and try and get her team the first victory of this World Cup Group C. Of course, this is the final stage, three stages here in this new WBSC format. 18 teams started, four teams have punched their ticket in so far. That would be the United States, Australia, Puerto Rico, and to round out that field will be the Netherlands. Looking here, of course, standings wise, it's tight with Italy sitting at 3-0, Japan's 2-0, Canada at 2-1, New Zealand, Philippines, and Venezuela still searching for their first wins here in Butrio. Of course, today, day three, we'll be in Butrio. We'll be back in Castellans de Strada for the remainder of the tournament after today. But in the meantime, between time, we're getting ready to go here with Knutson. Her first pitch missing outside for ball one to leadoff hitter Angelou Gabrielle. Gabrielle, of course, tasked with being the spark plug of this squad. And that pitch missing down. So Knutson in the hole, two balls, no strikes early on here. Gabrielle would love to get things started. Outfield just a bit shallow. Expecting contact, but not too far. That pitch outside corner for a card strike. The Empire and crew, another top-notch blue crew, as they all are here in this World Cup and have been from Group A to Group C. Swing and a miss. So that'll even the count up now. Two balls, two strikes. Full slate of games ahead today and some good ones. Japan and Canada will clash after this one. Venezuela, New Zealand. And then it will be the nightcap. The red hot host team. That ball is popped up and calling for it, making the grab there behind the plate is Jakari Molina for out number one. So a good start for Venezuela. And that'll bring up the number two hitter, MJ McGuire. Just a bit high in the strike zone for ball one. Take a look at McGuire's batting average. 600, quite impressive. One of the few players in the lineup that have been consistent for the Philippines. She leaves that one outside. She's run the count now to 2 0. Diamond looks beautiful. The weather outstanding here in Boutreau. Work both sides, but missing inside, so it's a 3 0 count now. See if McGuad has the green light, or she'll be taking all the way. That's his back inside corner, called strike. Corners in tight. the possible bump or slap. And that one hit hard and could potentially drop fair. It does, fair ball just inside that right field foul line. So a one out base hit for MJ McGuad. And the Philippines have the first runner aboard here in this ball game. And it'll be up to Skylin Alizar now to step in and at the very least move the runner along. batting order for this Philippines team for the duration. And she leaves that pitch inside and then the count two and oh. So Knutson struggling just a bit early on and I think the teammates just coming in give her some words of encouragement. See Alizar would love to see that batting average come up a few digits. Of course part of the process. And that's on the outside corner. Two balls, one strike. Knutson battling way back into the count here. Right 
back. Same place, same result. Count all evened up. Two balls, two strikes. Two, and that one's lined out to the gap. And a great grab out there by Bailey Olerich. As not sure her and the NRK got their communication together just at the right moment. And Olerich managed to squeeze that one for the out. You can see here, this that ball split the two fielders. So it was right in the left center gap. And now with two away, it'll be Nicole Hamoud. And she fouls that one straight back. Hamoud has been in the middle of pretty much everything that's been involved with the Philippines, offensively, defensively. And in a lineup like this, you can bet she's a focal point for the opposition to make sure she keeps, they try to keep her bat in check. That ball hit, that's going to be a base hit to left field. Runner's not going to be able to go to third, but second hit of the inning for the Philippines. And now two aboard for the number five hitter, Melissa Talisa. So a first inning rally here for the Philippines. And a good piece of hitting there from Hamu. Side corner for a strike. And a swing and a miss. So a good mix by Knudsen to jump ahead in the count now 0 and 2. two strikes. Knudsen trying to get out of this jam here with two runners aboard, two away. And that's a good pitch and turn that K the other way. Knudsen steps up when she needs to and delivers on time. Two hits, surrender in the inning. Two left aboard, but no one played it. 0-0 here. We're going to head down to the home half of the first inning. And a good start for Knudsen to finish strong. Take a look here at the batting order for Venezuela, of course. And they're to a team that has been inconsistent up to this point. I'm sure their head coach, Maria Sato, would like to see a little more consistency, in particular in the middle of the order. Look there at Bailey Olerich leading things off, followed by Kimberly Casido. Jerubi Alacart in the three spot. Jakari Molino bats cleanup. Diane R.K., number five. Harimar Olido bats in the sixth spot. Ayla Infante bats seven. Juznabi Acasio in the eight hole. And batting ninth, Framar Saniaga. Defensively for the Philippines. And they've had quite a bit of work. And any time you play Japan, you'll get some work defensively. Angelou Gabriel, Krista Roja, and Aliza Talisic left to right in the outfield. Skylin Alizar is on the hot corner. Nicole Hamoud at short. MJ McGuad at second. And Elise Del Torre at first. Francesca Altamonte, the anchor of the squad, will be catching for Rovell Palma. He comes in, having pitched 3.1 innings, ERA 2-10. She struck out one, walked no one, and has held the opponent's batting average down to 231. So nothing more creative than that sun hat right there, as you saw. Well, sun and rain combined. Pretty good as youngsters looking on in the early part here. So Bailey Olerich will lead things off, the designated player. See if Venezuela can't, at the very least, match the Philippines with a couple of early hits just to try to get the ball rolling. So 
to see Palma's numbers there. And a bunt attempt, but that's going to roll foul. So right off the bat, Olerich going to... Chopper was sitting in the seat here. He would be totally appalled at the fact that someone actually attempted a bunt and tried to get on that one. Oh, it's going to lead off spot. Her job, get on base any way you can. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch in inner part of the plate from Palma. And she's quickly heading the count now 0-2. to protect the plate, fouls it out of play. Count will remain 0-2. You can see the corners in tight in the infield. Middle infield, even with the bag. First base hit by a pitch. And a tough break for Palma as they seem to have the advantage on Olerich. So that'll bring up the number two hitter in Kimberly Casido. Corners in tight, expecting a bunt here. She does square, gets it down, and it's a good one. Had a look at second, and a good decision by Aliza to go to first well-executed sack bunt by Casido. And now that will put Olerich in scoring position for Jerubi Alakai. Good job getting that ball down into the dirt. You saw Elazar check to see if she had a chance to get that lead runner. No chance there. Good decision on her part. Pitch in there to Alicart. So like the Philippines, Venezuela countering, putting the pressure on here in the bottom of the first inning. And trying to go outside part, just a little too far outside. Count now, one ball, one strike. Italy has been beautiful. The food, amazing. The people, even more amazing than the food. Inside, that's line down. The left field line, hard off the fence, but well foul. So Alicart turned on that pitch. Just couldn't put it between the lines. Certainly had a good rip. Two teams looking very relaxed prior to this game. Maybe if you don't have to see Japan, you should be relaxed. That one again fouled hard down the left field line. So two straight pitches close to the same location from Palma. You see Alicart jumping all over them. She's way out in front. See if she may go back to that outside corner. Try to get her to chase something out of the strike zone with a one-two count. She does go out there out of cart. Great job just to get a piece of that to stay alive. You can see with Francesca Altamante behind the plate, she is very well versed in this situation. Very experienced catcher. Working well with, with her pitcher. Back inside, one to count to two and two, and you can see that's exactly where 
Altamonte wanted that pitch. And with a good hitter like a la carte, you're gonna have to work the entire strike zone. And two ground ball to short, two hopper. Check and gun over back to third, but great base running there by Olerich as she slides in safely at third base. A la carte with a hard hit ball. Does the job of moving the runner along. So 6-3 on the put up. But now there's two away for Jakari Molina. So some good defense and tried to check that runner at second. You can only check too long, didn't have a whole lot of time. First pitch to Molina in there for a strike. Molina, the cleanup hitter here, in a good situation. Looking for her first hit. Would like to deliver that here and now and potentially open the scoring for Venezuela. Missing down, one ball, one strike. One pitch. And that fouled straight back and over our heads here in the booth. So working on top is Royal Palma trying to close the door here and do something similar to what Knudsen had to do in the top of the city. Side. So a good eye from Molina to take that pitch to run the count even 2-2. And a swing and a miss brings it in up on the hands and a strikeout to bail out Palma and the Philippines. So nothing doing for Venezuela in the first inning. We have played one complete. Got a good one going here. You're watching the 2023 WBSC Women's Softball World Cup right here on GameTime.Sport. Top of the second inning. It'll be 6 7 8 scheduled for the Philippines and Christy Roa, followed by Elsie Del Torre and then Francesca Altamante, scheduled three to face Cassidy Knudsen. And that first pitch, low for a ball. Christy Roa has had lots of action out in center field through the course of this first two days. And fouls that one straight back. She has played an outstanding center field. One-one pitch. 
she is hit hard, but foul. And that will run the count to one ball, two strikes. Haven't seen Knudsen use any off-speed pitches, any variation of the changeup. See if she pulls it out or works to the corner. She's in charge in this count. They go to the outside corner. Good attempt by Molina to frame that one up. Be awfully tough though with Alan Magdalenich behind the plate. He's got a very keen eye and an outstanding fade. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch work in that outside corner. So back to back strikeouts going back in inning. Second of the game for Knutson. And just a good pitch in a good location. Elsie Del Torre now steps in. Her first at bat of this ball game. And she looks at a pitch in there for a strike. Side, didn't catch any part of the corner. And that'll run the count even one and one. Back at her, bouncing in. Just want to mention the fine work of the many volunteers here in Montreal. All young, enthusiastic, and willing to help you out. It's been fantastic along with the staff that prepares the meals. That ball hit and a great grab out there for Olito. And she laid out and picked off that line drive neatly for out number two. This is just good reaction there as you can see. Didn't have a whole lot of time but covered that hole and certainly saved the base hit. Francesca Altamonte, the hitter now, batting in the eighth spot. She draws a lot of innings behind that dish. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Just catching probably the most taxing position out there. So say the umpires, so the hardest workers in showbiz as that one again. <laughs> <laughs> take a look down that line and Mr. Tide Callywagon had to use his sharp reflexes there to get out of the way. He's had to a few times. Count one ball, two strikes. Took something off. There was that change up we're talking about and that's out number three. So two strikeouts in the inning. And a smooth one for Knutson. Three up, three down. Nothing doing. Had no one left. He played two and a half. You're watching the 17th WBSC Women's Softball World Cup. Don't go anywhere. Set for the home half of the second inning. Five, six, seven. In RK, Alita, and Infante. They'll get their first look at Rodal Palma. Palma will work on that outside. 
inside corner, just missing for a ball. You notice both these two teams batting averages just in the 200s. And that due to the fact that they played some of the top teams early on. As that pitch misses, two balls, no strikes. As I alluded to Venezuela playing Italy and Canada and the Philippines playing Canada and Japan. So they certainly haven't had an easy road just to get here to day three. And bringing that one in, catching the inside part of the plate. So back in the count now, two balls, one strike. So a hitter's count here, three and one to RK. And that one's a called strike. So hold on, wait a minute, back in the batter's box. Very hard not to like the colors Venezuela sports. They come with the shoes to match, looking good head to toe. Three, two, man, that one fouled straight back. RK had a good hack at that one. We'll see what adjustments Almonte and Palma make here on this next three-two pitch. Just off the tip of the glove of Hamoud. And out into left field, the leadoff single for Diana Arke. And for the second straight inning, leadoff hitter aboard for Venezuela. You can see Hamoud needed just another inch. And she probably would have hauled that in. Harimar Olido, the hitter. Corners in tight, expecting a bun here. And she swings away. That's in shallow center, running, coming in, and making a grab is Roa. So good job in playing deep, but making up a lot of ground, reading it perfectly. So Alito not able to move the runner along. Fly out to center, and it'll be Ila Infante now. With that out, with one out. She'll be tasked with moving the runner or more. He looks at the pitch outside for a ball. I'm sure getting a good jump over there at first base. We'll see if Maria Soto has anything on here. Wearing a bunt, popping that one back and out of play. Almonte gave a valiant effort, good chase, but too much backspin on that one. So no balls, two strikes to count here. Almonte going to have to work here. And a swing and a miss. So a big strikeout for Palma. Her second in this ball game. And they're two out now for Jusnabi Ocasio. So you can bet Maria Soto won't be happy if they're not able to execute it all and move that lead runner along. upstairs to Ocasio. One ball. Those are the little things that go a long way sometimes to riding your ship. You're able to manufacture a run. And outside corner for 
for a strike. One ball, one strike. We'll say this, that the kicks that the Venezuelan team sports are some sweet. And that's popped up. Almonte oh, had the basket catch, and with the backspin, it popped out. So that would have been a tough grab. That was over the shoulder. You saw RK was off to the races, and a good try there, but a tough play nonetheless, getting that mask off, and you see the basket just too much backspin. One-two pitch coming one more time. Swing and a miss. Runner goes and doesn't matter anyway because that strikeout back-to-back -back will end the inning and the threat. As Venezuela go down, they squander a leadoff runner. We have played two complete here in Butrio, Italy. You're watching the 2023 WBSC Women's Softball World Cup. That's perfect. Top of the third inning. Philippines set the bat. They'll send the number nine hitter in Charlotte Salas. Then they'll go back to the top of the shop in Gabrielle, followed by Maguire. Cassidy Knutson. Allowed a couple of hits in the first inning, but her defense and a strikeout got her out of that. Smooth, clean second. And first pitch swinging is Salas, and she fouls that one down the line. About 11.30 a.m. Italy time. In North America, it's real early. Some action in the Philippines bullpen. And that one bent over the outside corner for a called strike. So a good pitch for Knudsen, has her up in the count 0-2 here. Through Salas. Comes back, and a good pitch down in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. You always want that 0-2 a one-two pitch to be out of the reach of the hitter, but within the catcher's ring. Back to the outside corner, and there nothing doing on the frame job. Good attempt by Molina. Count evened up, two balls, two strikes. That one is popped up. And almost in play, but it was right by the edge of the fence, so it was a tough play for Olito as it looked like it was tailing out of play and then came back in, but just too close to the fence to be able to haul that in. Count will remain two balls, two strikes. Back to the outside corner for strike three. Good pitch there from Knudsen as she picks up her fourth strikeout of this ball game. On a good pitch tailing away. That'll send us back to the top of the shop in Angelou Gabrielle. She popped out to the catcher in her first at bat. So second time through the order here. Ground ball to third, that's gobbled up neatly and over to first in time. Outstanding play by Olito. As she gets another chance to Paul went in, already grabbed a, snagged a hot liner. This time she does the same with a ball in the hole. So a good start for Knutson 
And the Venezuelan defense here. And it'll be MJ McGuad now. McGuad has one of the two hits for the Philippines, a single. Advanced to second base on a si another single, but was left stranded there. And she hits this one to center field. That is going to be run down by Diana Arque as she makes a fine grab out there in center field to retire the side. No runs, no hits. Nobody left the board. Another clean one for the Philippines. We're going to head to the home half of the third inning when we come back. scoreless ball game going here. Philippines against Venezuela. Both teams come in with 0-2 records. So the good thing is that one of these teams will be leaving this field with their first victory of this World Cup Group C. Framar Saniaga will lead things off for Venezuela. She squares, gets a good one down. Going to be a tough play fielded and an outstanding play there by Palma. As she fields her position perfectly, would have been a tough play for Altamonte behind the plate, but you see Palma jumped on that and got a good throw over to record out number one. Good, strong throw, too. Didn't have a whole lot of time. So back to the top of the shop and Bailey Olerich. She was hit by a pitch in the first. Managed to move all the way to third base, but was left stranded there. That in the first, another bunt laid down. This one a little easier for Palma. And she again helps her own cause. Second time will score that one, two put out. Sorry, one, three put out. And quickly there are two away here in the bottom of the third. So a couple of good bunts laid down, but the defense tight and it's Kimberly Casido now who had a sacrifice bump in the first to move along Olerich after she was hit by a pitch the 0-1 pitch and that's foul right back here I would have had that one for sure So, Casido quickly in the hole now. No balls, two strikes. And that one bounce. She got the bunker. Little joke with her pitcher there, and the count one ball, two strikes. Well, she asked for it out of the strike zone. She certainly got it that way. Catch the lower part of that outside corner, and you could see Palma wanted that pitch, taking a second look and going for a stroll. Count even, two balls, two strikes. Comes back, that's line to center field, but once again on the run is Christy Roa to make the grab. Three up. Three down, another clean one for Venezuela. 
We have played three complete innings here in Butrio, Italy. We're scoreless. You're watching the 2023 WBSC Women's Softball World Cup here on GameTime.Sport. For the fourth inning. Scoreless ball game. It'll be Elazar, followed by Hamoud and Talisic, the 3 4 5 hitters. So, meet of the order up for the Philippines here to face Cassidy Knudsen. Second time around, Elazar flied out to left field. The first at bat, she takes it to right. That's going to drop for a base hit. So, first pitch swinging is Skylin Elazar and leadoff runner aboard for the first time here for the Philippines. Just turning on that inside pitch, good bat speed. Yanked that one out to right field. And now Nicole Hamoud, who singled in her previous at bat. One of the team's three hits goes up to middle. That's gonna be roller to short over to first in time. So call that one, one, six, Four three on the put out for the double play. And fortunately, don't have enough room to put all those numbers, but that was an outstanding team effort to erase the base runner quickly. And in the blink of an eye, there's nobody on. You see, good job just to knock that down, slow it up, and I take that back, take another one out, one, six, three. On the put out, and now it'll be Talisic steps in. She was caught watching the paint dry to end the first inning. So steps up with no one aboard and two away here in the fourth. Looks at a strike. And Knudsen missing down. One ball, one strike. That ball lined on a one hop, beautiful hit up the middle. So Talisic will be happy. First time she's gotten the barrel of the bat on the ball nicely and a two out single keeps the inning alive and it'll be Christy Roa now, the hitter. So a good piece of hitting, taking that ball right back from where it came. And a good attempt by a cart at short, but just a good hit. First pitch to Roa is in there for a strike. And that one is lifted up and Foul territory, long run, and able to make the grab is Ulrich to retire the side. So defensively, a couple of hits surrendered, but a double play and then a flyout will end things for Philippines here in the fourth. Nothing doing. There's no one left aboard. We'll be back with the bottom of the fourth inning after this.
to give our viewers a heads up. Full slate of games here. This being game number eight. Following this one will be Japan and Canada. That will certainly be a game vital for Canada as they came up with a tough loss to Italy last night. Venezuela will meet up with New Zealand. And Italy, red hot, will take on the Philippines. Right here, it'll be the meat of the order for Venezuela in a la carte, Molina and RK. The scheduled hitters to face Royale Palma. And she's all over that outside corner for a called strike. Palma has been very efficient. Been around the strike zone, done a good job of mixing up her pitches. Not really seeing the same pitch, right, the same pitch twice. Alucard lifts that one up. And calling for it at short is Hamoud. And she makes the grab. Quickly, one away, and we'll bring up the catcher, Jakari Molina. Game has had some good flow to it. Teams have had opportunities, good pitch, bringing it back door in the inside corner. Molina struck out to end the first. Batten and Venezuela left a runner stranded at third. And leaves that one just outside. So you see the sequence of Tamante leading her pitcher along, working both sides of the plate. One, one. That one's flared up and easy play for MJ McGuire. Four out number two. Good location on that pitch from Palma. Kept it in on the hands. Not a whole lot Molina could do with it. And when you have a good hitter like Molina, it's got good power. You nullify that, bringing the pitches inside. One in the wheelhouse. Diana R.K. now. Singled in her last at bat. Looks at a called strike. She is responsible for the only hit of this game for Venezuela up to this point. She led off the second and never moved off first base. Palmer trying to go. Outside, inside, and she misses. Run the count even, one ball, one strike. Let's say that again, inside, outside. And that's in there for a strike to okay. Talk around the diamond, of course. Japan, and the Japanese Express rolling along. They have been flawless up to this point. Haven't really been tested by any of the top contenders. That will come today. That ball driven to center field. That's going to be a base hit. So good piece of hitting from RK. She's got her second hit of this ball game. Responsible for both hits for Venezuela. And with two out. It will be Harimar Olido. Well, her second look flied to center in her previous at bat and with action in the bullpen. It's going to be a visit for Maria, sorry, for Ana Santiago. Talk around if you talk with Canada. Of course, a slow start, a 5 nothing win against the Philippines and picked up. Another win he against this team, Venezuela, before falling to Italy. People asking if there's something wrong with Canada. No, they hit the ball well yesterday, just couldn't find any holes. The defense of Italy was picture perfect. And they came alive, took advantage with a run in the third and then a big inning in the fourth to 
Take a stranglehold on that one. So we'll see how things transpire. Italy has been really good. Olito back in there. And a pitch up in the zone for a ball. With two away, expect Olito to be swinging away. See if RK is on the move at all. Pitch outside for a ball. Two balls, no strikes. Come on, back in the count now. Two and one. Safe, but the sky darkening just a bit. It was high sun earlier on and just a bit overcast. Certainly don't want to do an Ed Ottoman and bring the rain. That ball flared up and calling for it is Maguad to make the grab. So a two out single goes for not on two pop ups to second base. Well, you know what we're about to do, and that's right. We're about to slide right into the fifth inning. We've got a scoreless ball game here. Game eight for the 2023 WBSC Women's Softball World Cup. You're watching and on GameTime.Sports. Five. It'll be Del Torre followed by Altamonte and then Salas. The scheduled three hitters to face Cassidy Knutson. Knutson gave up a leadoff single last game, so at a 1-6-3 double play. Got her out of that jam as that ball is fouled up and out of play. So Knutson has done a good job of allowing her defense to support her behind her. And that ball is flared up and trotting to her left and making it look easy is Bailey Ulrich for out number one. So again, Knutson doing the job and you give Knutson credit, the credit too has to go to Jakari Molina behind the dish. She, of course, taking the signs from Maria Soto. That pitch just missed outside. Back to the inside corner, missing there. Two balls, no strikes. Is the white wood right there. Count now two balls, one strike. That ball lifted up and into the glove of Olerich. So a hard hit ball from Altamonte. Another fly ball out to left field. And quickly two outs for Charlotte Salas. Strikeout victim in the third. Four strikeouts in this game for Cassidy Knutson. She misses down for ball one. Comes back, 
swing and a miss. You saw Salas saw something that she liked and went after it. That's that juicy looking rise ball and always looks good when it leaves the pitcher's hand. Never looks good when it ends up in the catcher's gl glove. And took something off that one and beauty job mixing them up. And up in the count now. One ball, two strikes is Knutson. Salah's going to have to work here behind in the count. Good eye to run the count even. Two balls, two strikes. field line but foul. So way out in front of that pitch was Salas. Starting to see Knutson use a bit more off speed options here using the change up a bit more than she was in the earlier couple of innings. Try to go outside and that frame job. Good enough for Picasso, but not so for home plate umpire. And the count now three and two. Pitch fouled right back here. Bit of a welcome relief to the Heat this week. Last week, just scorching. Looks like the ground was on fire. Back to it, had an ocean, a good eye from Salas. She works a two out walk. First walk of the game for Knutson. And that'll bring it back to the top of the shop in Angelou Gabrielle. Gabrielle popped out and grounded out. We'll see if Salas is on the move. Pitch lifted foul. So Gabrielle not wasting any time. Saw first pitch she liked and went after it. Always been a firm believer. That the first pitch may be the best pitch you see. So no sense keeping that bat on the shoulder sometimes. Sometimes you just have to go after it. Be aggressive. Yes, that depends where you are in your at-bat cycle, uh, whether it's the first time around or second time or third. And one is yanked foul. So a couple of good hacks from Gabrielle. She's gonna have to work in the hole one and two. Canada, Japan to follow this one. And what we can deem really a must win for Canada. But I think the idea is certainly to try and get in the top two. That's the ideal scenario. That ball hard hit the short, easy one, and taking it herself there. And a second base, no need to cover was Alicart. So six unassisted, a force play at second, ends the inning. So one left aboard for the Philippines, but not able to plate another run. We'll continue our slide to five when we come back after the short break.
set to work the bottom of the slide here. Seven, eight, nine hitters for Venezuela. Infante, Acasio, and Saniaga. Maribel Palma has done a good job in the circle. Anytime you haven't allowed a run. Pitch missing downs. Two that pitch missing downs. Two balls, no strikes. Squaring the bunt, leaving that one, and that's in there for a strike. In there for a strike. Sometimes you'll see hitters use that as a bit of a decoy. Infante had no intention of laying anything down there. Keeping the defense on their toes. Try to go back outside. Three balls, one strike. Hard chopper, no way you're going to get that one. That one was well hit by Infante. So for the third time in this ball game, leadoff runner aboard, first hit of the game for Infante. And something going on here for Dusnabi Ocasio. The mood range to her. Left that had no chance. That ball, as soon as it hit that dirt, picked up velocity and scooted out there into left center. Ocasio struck out to end the second. Corners in tight. She definitely went for it. And that's going to be a called strike. So you can see corners racing in to defend against this bunt. See if she stays with it. Clearly runs at a premium in this ball game. So someone's going to have to manufacture something. Again, the square and a beauty job getting it down. Going to be a tough play. Altamonte does a good job. As you saw, Elsie Del Torre in there as well, but Altamonte took charge. Picked up that ball quickly and got it to first base to record the out. Well executed sacrifice bunt by Alicio. Sorry, Acasio. And now it'll be Saniaga, the scheduled hitter. And we'll see, we may have a pinch hitter come up in this situation. Back to the pitcher in her own level of back. And she will get a chance here to try to drive in the game's first run, her first look at Palma. And she looks at a pitch on the outside for a called strike. Just off the roof of our booth here. And it's an 0-2 count. So the advantage right now to Rovell Palma. Alexis Barrios going to have to work here. She's going to cash in this run. And she takes that one the other way. That's out of play. So 
Pitches at the corners. Yelling some encouragement to Barrios. Telling her be selective. The 0-2 pitch. Comes back in and just missed. That was a tough 0-2 pitch to take from Barrios. And Palma lighting the sky with that smile, but you know that smile has a back end to it. As that pitch just missed. Outside corner, Barrios does a good job to protect that. Gets a piece to stay alive. So the count still sitting at one ball, two strikes. One away, a runner in scoring position for Venezuela. Trying to put a number up on the board. No one's done that up to this point. And a ground ball over the head off the glove, and that is going to be a tough play. No throw even. So an infield hit for Barrios as she makes good contact. No chance for the runner, of course, in Infante to score on the play, but she does advance to third, so a golden opportunity here. Good attempt from Palma. One of those situations you can't, it's hard to say. You should have left it, your fielder could have got it, but you don't know, that's right up the middle. And as a pitcher, you're always trying to be defensive, gonna be a meeting inside that circle. And we'll see if that may be it for Palma. As Ana Santiago out there leading the discussion. First time in this game that Venezuela has had two runners on base. They manage a leadoff hit by a pitch in the first. a little harder now so it'll be a question whether or not we're going to suspend play or not it looks like going to be a pinch hitter for Bailey Olerich in Michelle Floyd just waiting here for a word as we're going to play on play through it Certainly no lightning. So runners on the corners here. Just one away. And Michelle Floyd to hit her. She delivered in on day one. And she looks at a pitch runner goes, throw down, looking for that cutoff. So base taken by Barrios. She's now at second. And a hit here from Floyd would open the scoring. see Palma keeping the ball under the glove, trying to keep it dry. Try to go outside, missing for a ball. So that's one of the things when the rain starts, the moisture on the ball, hard to grip for the pitchers. So control could be an issue. Also slick for the fielders. Brings the dirt level down, so the infield's gonna be slower. Field in tight. Trying to cut off this run. Just getting a piece of that was Floyd. She had a good hack. Certainly likes that ball right up there in the upper part of the strike zone. So this is only expected to be a passing shower. We can see blue skies just in front of us. So this may just be a light sprinkling. Easy to say when you're in the dry booth. Back to work here, 2-1 count. Boyd fouls another one off, so she had a good cut at that. So timing-wise, she's right on Palma. See what kind of 
Mix, Altamonte throws in here to try and nullify the power of Floyd. Try to go outside just a little further. Count even, two balls, two strikes. That's a good one-two pitch to Floyd, just trying to get her to fish for something out of the strike zone. Still coming down steady. And ground ball, hard hit. That's a liner. I think that was cleanly caught. And I think she caught it cleanly from our vantage point here. I don't think there was a signal by any of the umpires. So that's got to go down as a 6-3 put out. Runners frozen on the play. They weren't able to go anywhere. That ball was hit so hard. But from my vantage point here, Venezuela had a runner at third in the first. Couldn't cash. And again, missing down. So three balls, one strike to Casido. Big pitch coming here. See, players feeling the moment. Inside, so that'll load them up. A two out walk fills the bases. And it'll be Deruby a la carte now. 0 for 2, but for her, that means she's due. Alucard with a ground out and a fly out. Hasn't hit the ball out of the infield yet. And sure now would be a great time for her to do that. And deliver a clutch two out hit. Alma to work. Okay, missing inside, ball one. ball to short bobbled throw over not in time run comes in to score so you're gonna have to call an e6 on that play give a la carte an rbi on the play as infante comes around with the game's first run this just when you're an infielder with the the moisture the ball is going to come at you slower. So Hamoud had to be charging that ground ball and not sitting back waiting on it. And that was her mistake there. And time-wise, once you bobble, you don't have the recovery time. Sun comes back out. And now it's Jakari Molina. She lifts that one up. And Lamonte back in. Almost makes another basket catch. But that one was right up against the screen. So not sure if it clipped anything. That's right above, right in front of us. And you can see here, because I sure couldn't, and she just goes out just off the glove. So Molina with life. Struck out in the first, popped out in the fourth. Chance here to cash in on the big run. Base is loaded. Pitch outside corner for a called strike. Going to the count here. And Maria Soto is going to have a bit of a discussion with her number three hitter. Sorry, her number four hitter. And we're going to see the two out catcher rule. Or we're going to just see a helmet switch, okay. So, no runner switch. Equipment adjustment. 
And back at it here, Molina. In the hole, 0-2. Palma, one good pitch away from getting out of this jam. Only down a run. That ball driven deep to left field, and you can get out of this ballpark right now. That's a grand slam for the cleanup hitter, Jakari Molina. Four more on the board for Venezuela. They take a commanding 5 nothing lead. Oh, baby, rocked the house with that. She put a charge in that one. Quickly, fate has turned for the Philippines as Fravel Palma. And definitely not cruising along by any stretch, defense helping, but that ball from Molina. Boy, oh boy, that had a flight number on it. And we'll have a new pitcher. We'll take a quick break. Five nothing, Venezuela. So, and Antelaejo. Antelaejo, sorry. She comes in for Palma and It'll be Diana R.K., the hitter. First the book on Palma. Four and two-thirds innings. That ball lined up to center field, but Roa underneath that one. So jumping on just the first pitch she sees is R.K. So the damage done. Five runs plated. In this inning by Venezuela, they have taken the lead. You're watching the 2023 WBSC Women's Softball World Cup right here on Game Time. Dot Sport. Set for the top of the sixth inning. Big five run out first by Venezuela to take control of this ball game. It will be the number two, three, four hitters for the Philippines in MJ McGuire, followed by Skylin Elazar and Nicole Hamoud. And Cassidy Knutson now with a bit of a cushion to work with. Nothing makes a pitcher more comfortable than a few runs in her back pocket. Looks like Peru 
Rios has come in to the ball game and she will remain. Came in for Santiago. So some crafty changes by the Venezuelan coaching staff as that pitch misses inside for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Seemed to work as they were able to plate five after being extremely quiet. Ground ball fielded by Knutson over the first. For the out. You can tell the enthusiasm. Venezuela, of course, five outs away from recording their first out. And it'll be Skylin Elazar. He was flied out and singled in this ball game. Third time through here facing Knudsen. Looks at a pitch for a called strike. Canada, Japan to follow this game. And of course, then it'll be Venezuela, New Zealand. And the nightcap, the host Italy taking on the Philippines. So things don't get any easier for the Philippines from here. Ground ball looking for the whole backhand, tough last hop and no chance there as Casito got to that ball, but you saw that last hop she got was a tricky one. Not sure if they'll score that an error or an infield hit. You see that last bounce pop right back up. Be generous and give her an infield hit, but our top-notch scorers here, WBSC, have the final word as always. Nicole Hamoud singled and then bounced into a double play in the fourth. She looks at a pitch in tight for a ball. So if you're the Philippines, you've got a lot of positive to take. You're trailing by five now. And lifts that one up into shallow right, coming on and making the grab out there. Calling for that ball is Ocasio. And there are two away. So both Ocasio and Arke were coming in on that ball. That ball dumped in what was no man's land until they decided to close that distance in a hurry. And that'll be Elisa Talisa. Got caught looking in the first singled in the fourth. One for two ball game here. And another outside for a ball. And in there for a called strike. Two balls, one strike. That ball taken the other way, but that's fouled well out of play. So far, you got to give Cassidy Canoose and some credit. Her and Jakari Molina. That battery has been very effective. They've made the adjustments needed and that off-speed pitch in the dirt. No chance for Elazar to go anywhere. Of course, the pitcher and the catcher, the only two players on the field involved in every pitch in this game. Of softball. Runner on the move and a walk anyway. So Knutson with a two-out walk to Talisa, to a board now for the center fielder, Christy Roa. She's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a flyout. Played some good defense out there in center field. So 
Knutson looking to get her team out of this unscathed. Some bit of a comfort zone when you've got a five run lead. Missing inside, so two balls, no strikes to count. Add in there for a strike. I'd like to thank the chief umpire in charge, Christina Drum, for making sure that everything runs smoothly in the broadcast booth. Thank you. Bit of a conference here with Anna Santiago. Some words of encouragement, and she'll get right back into the batter's box for the 2 1 count. In tight. And on the count to 3 and 1. Important that Knutson stay within the boundaries she's been following up to this point. That one, cue ball foul. Of course, that's easier said than done as she's now in the sixth inning. She has gone the distance here for Venezuela. And a swing and a miss. So a big pitch from Knutson gets her out of the inning. Philippines, again, not able to play to run. They leave two aboard. Nothing doing on the scoreboard. It's still 5 nothing in favor of Venezuela. They'll come to bat in the home half of the six. We'll be back. You're watching the 2023 WBSC Women's Softball World Cup. Group C. for Venezuela. And Irma Olido to lead things off. 0 for 2 with a fly out and a pop out. First time through. Did a look at Marion Antelajo. She pours in a strike. Even a count, one ball, one strike. Antelajo came in for Lovell Palma. Came in and closed the door after that five run outburst. And that one just to my glove hand here in the broadcast booth. One ball, two strikes to count. You can bet Venezuela would love to tack on another. That pitch inside, just missed. Two balls, two strikes. So none of those runs charged to Antaloha. And she misses upstairs. So 
Francesca Almonte has done some great work behind the plate, has had a couple of tough plays to hold it over the shoulder grabs, and that one is lifted up and drifting foul out of play. And Palajo come in and has done a good job. This will be her full, her full inning of work. Flared out to center field. Roa settles under it, makes the grab for the first out. So the batter now will be Elan Fante. She struck out in the second, singled and scored in that five run fifth. Or the visor. This comes right at you. This is downstairs. Two balls, no strikes. Try to catch that inside part of the plate. Nothing doing there. And that's going to run the count 3 0 now. Strike zone for a called strike. Infante not too impressed with that call. Gonna have to live with it though. Count even now, two and two. Pardon my counting. And tried to take it just a bit further outside to run the count full. And misses up. So a good at bat for Infante. To be on base for the second time in this ball game. First walk issued by Antelajo. And with one out, a base runner on for Gustnabi Acasio. Acasio struck out in the second. Had an outstanding sack bunt in that five run fifth. Pitch, a called strike. Going back to that outside corner for another strike. So quickly in the hole is Acasio. And a couple of good pitches from Antelajo. Something off, missed up. That ball driven out to left field, going back and making the grab is Gabrielle. So good job tracking that to her left to record out number two. Runner not able to advance, and Infante, she remains at first base. And now back in on the re-entry is Framar Saniaga. She looks at a pitch outside for ball one. Jammed inside, fielded by Antelajo, and a flip over to first in time. So score that one three. 
A one out walk, squandered, nothing doing. We're gonna head to the top of the seventh inning, gonna be the last chance for the Philippines. We've gotta get five to get back in this one. You're watching the WBSC Women's Softball World Cup right here on Game Time. That's cool. Jessica Alcamante, and then Charlotte Salas. Ball lifted foul out of play. Cassidy Knudsen trying to go the distance here. She has been good. She's kept these Philippine hitters off balance. Took something off there, bounced that in for a ball, and Marina going to have to stand up, get a stretch after taking that ball in the dirt in the midsection. The occupational hazards of catching. That ball, ground ball, two hopper to short. Charging that ball over the first in time. That's the way you charge it on a slow diamond. Good work, Jerubi Alacart. Her out number one. Venezuela just two outs away now from their first win of this Women's World Cup. And it'll be Altamonte now. Struck out and flied out. That one floated in there for ball one. Sometimes catchers don't get credit for the work that they have to do. As that pitch up and in. Two balls, no strikes. That ball is air mailed out there and going to have to let umpire Steve McGowan to work on his hands out there. Didn't field that one cleanly. Still, still a good guy nonetheless. Back to work here. Knudsen outside corner for a strike. Back in the count now two and one. Yesterday's winners included Italy, Canada, Japan and Italy again. Slow roll of the short, tough hop, and there was just no chance on that one as that one had a last skip that almost caused a la carte to need some dental work. As she did a good job just to knock that one down. You can see here, and take a look at this last hop as you can see right there. Pops right back up. She does a good job to knock it down. I think they'll probably saddle her with an error on that one. Either way, I mean, base runner for Philippines, and it'll be Charlotte Salas. We'll see if there'll be a pinch hitter. Looks like there is. Looks like it's going to be Renee Villamy that will come in. She looks at a called strike. So Villamine hitting for Salas here in the seventh with a runner aboard and one away. Ball's flared out, gonna be a tough play and that's gonna drop for a base hit. So some good coaching by the Philippines as Villamine delivers a one out single. Moves the runner to second, and Philippines with a little something brewing here in the seventh. Take it back to the top of the shop now in Angelou Gabrielle. Gabrielle's popped out, grounded out. 
twice. So 0 for 3. And had a notion, held it back. Ball one. Back to it, outside corner for a strike. So a good 3-0 pitch, didn't groove it down the middle. Tipped it off the outside corner. And that one just a little too far. So the base is loaded here for the Philippines. For the first time in this ball game. And it'll be MJ McGuad now with a chance here to get the Philippines on the board. Knudsen trying to close the door. That one is driven out to center field, so could possibly bring in a run. Caught out there, and the throw is going to come into third, so the Philippines are going to score their first run. Now in a run down at third, tagged out on the play. So a base running error there will end the ball game after the Philippines cash a run. But no matter. A 5-1 win for Venezuela as they will pick up their first win of this Women's World Cup Group C. And you can bet a sigh of relief. The Philippines will fall to 0-3 in a tough loss after playing an outstanding game. Just that one inning, they surrendered five and weren't able to recover from that. So you can see on the replay, good job on the rundown, just trying to... Extend that. Draws Villamine and 